Hello everyone and welcome to JAM Academy. In this example, our model airplane of mass M is attached by control wires of length L and negligible mass to the pilot who controls the lift by prov provided by the wings. If the plane's engine keep it moving at a constant speed V in a horizontal circle, Determine the tension in the string, the lift on the aircraft, and the critical angle required to maintain a stable flight. So we have a plane flying around in a horizontal circle tied to a string held by a pilot. Um, so let's start first by looking at the forces acting on the plane. We have the tension in the string. I'm going to call that T. We have the weight of the plane. That's MG. We have the lift. I'm just going to level the lift force L. Now, the lift is tilted towards the center of the circle because the horizontal component of the leaf provide part of the centripetal force required for the plane to move around in that circle. Um, what next? I think these are the forces acting on the plane. This angle right here is theta. It's going to be theta 90 minus theta, which means that this angle right here is theta. <laughs> so the diagram is a little bit overcrowded, so let me draw the free body diagram separately so that we can clearly see how the forces interact with each other. Uh, I'll start with a coordinate system. We have the weight which acts vertically downwards. I'm going to call this mg. We have the tension force T. This angle is theta. Then we have the lift force L. The lift force is due to the airflow under and above the plane. Um, looking carefully, this angle should be theta. So if we resolve the forces acting on this system, you will have the lift force can be resolved into two components. This is L cosine theta. This is L sine theta. The tension of the other, the drag force, the tension of the other hand can be resolved into two components. You have here this is L sine theta, this is T cosine theta, and this is T sine theta. Now the next thing that we have to do is to apply Newton's second law for both directions. So let's start first with the vertical direction. The summation of forces is equal to L cosine theta minus T sine theta minus mg, that will be equal to zero. So this would mean that L cosine theta minus T sine theta will be equal to mg. I'm going to call this equation 1. We're going to use it later. So let's sum the forces along the x direction. So we have the summation of FR, this will be equal to MAR. So we have here L sine theta plus T cosine theta. This must be equal to MV square over R, where R is the radius, where R is the radius of the circle. Now, if you notice, we can complete this triangle. Um, you will have here this is R, the length of the string is L, and cosine theta is equal to adjacent R divided by L. 
This means that um, R is equal to L cosine theta. And if that is true, so we will have here L sine theta plus T cosine theta equal to MV squared divided by L cosine theta. Let us call this equation 2. Now, what I'm going to do is multiply equation 1 by sine theta and multiply equation 2 by cosine theta. If we do that, we will have L cosine theta sine theta minus T sine squared theta equal to mg sine theta. If I multiply equation 2 by cosine theta, I'm going to have here L sine theta cosine theta plus T cosine squared theta equal to mv squared all divided by L. Let me call this equation 4 and let me call this equation 5. What do you notice about equation 4 and equation 5? We can subtract equation 4 from 5. If we do that, the L sine theta cosine theta will cancel. We will have minus T sine squared theta minus T cosine squared theta equal to mv square over L minus mg sine theta. In other words, we can multiply both sides by negative sign. We will have T bracket sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equal to mg sine theta minus mv squared over L. This is equal to 1. So this means that the tension in the string T will be equal to mg sine theta minus mv squared all divided by L. So we've calculated the tension in the string. Now, the part of the question is to determine the angle at which we have to, the, the minimum angle that we need to fly the plane for it to be stable. At all times, T must be greater than or equal to zero. So this means that um, mg sine theta minus mv squared over L must be greater than or equal to zero. So if we solve that equation, we will have mg sine theta must be greater than or equal to mv squared over L. In other words, in other words, we are saying that um, the m's can go away and the sine of theta must be greater than or equal to v squared all divided by gl. So how do we interpret this? This means that theta minimum will be equal to the sine of V squared over LG. This is the minimum angle required to maintain the flight, to maintain a stable flight. Now the next question is for us to calculate the lift L. Now I'm going to leave this as an assignment. But the hint to this problem is, you know the expression for T. You can choose any one of these equations and substitute the expression for T and solve for L. And this is going to be homework um, submitted in class for extra credit. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate um, your commitment for this course. I look forward to the next lesson. Remain blessed. Thank you. Bye.